Welcome everyone to another quick Grisco weapon guide and this time it's for the Grisco stringer or the Grisco bow, the final Grisco weapon we haven't talked about yet on this channel. For all the other weapons you can find a guide with several tricks and uses that will help you handle the weapons, so check out the rest of the channel if you need help. The Grisco stringer is one of the new additions to Salmon Run and it's known for its extreme shooting power and range at the same time. Its weakness is that just like most Grisco weapons, it is extremely ink hungry and so if you aren't careful, you can find yourself out of position and dry very fast. The Grisco Stringer is actually the highest DPS weapon that can continuously dish out damage despite the Charger being the better burst weapon, but if you consider your ink efficiency and recovery, then the Grisco Stringer beats the Charger by more than 300 DPS with its 680 value of constant pressure it can deal. Its range is also exceptionally high, it's right at the top, a little bit behind the E-Leader 4K, sharing the same shooting range as the normal Tri-Stringer, so it's very capable of dealing with long-range issues. Finally, the last special addition to the Tri-Stringer is that it's shooting 9 arrows instead of the normal 3 like other stringers do, increasing its capabilities to paint by a lot, not to mention the amount of potential damage it can dish out out of nowhere, and that is what we'll talk about next. Despite the Grisco Stringer's perfect attributes to be an excellent sniper weapon like Chargers or the Tri-Stringer, the full charges of the Grisco Bow aren't as accurate as their normal variants, as the 9 arrows don't close up in your reticle as much as we'd like, and even with the full charge your shots will be very spread. Because of this, I'd say the Grisco Stringer isn't as good a sniper as we'd like, but there's a trick you can use. If you carefully observe the trajectory of your arrows, you will see that they are spread all over the place and it's hard to shoot at long range target and deal as much damage as we would like. But if you carefully look at the right side arrows, you will see there is a cluster of three arrows that are by far the closest to each other, in comparison to the rest of our shots at least. And that's the point we want to focus on when we aim to splat faraway salmonids. It's quite a weird way to use a weapon, but basically when you want to splat let's say a steelhead, or aim towards Horoboros' bomb, you don't want to aim straight at them, but instead you want to aim left of them, and keep that specific spot with the three arrows on target you wish to splat. It's a very smart yet simple way you can counter the long range weakness the stringer has. Now for every other situation on the other hand, since the Grisco stringer can be quite a hassle to snipe with, I instead propose to use it like a shotgun. Yes! Since you shoot 9 arrows and can deal a monstrous amount of damage with all of them combined, if you use the Grisco stringer as a close range weapon, you'll get one of the most fun and overpowered Grisco weapons in the game that grew on me a lot. There's nothing in Salmon Run that the Grisco Stringer cannot one-shot close range if you hit them close up with all your arrows. It destroys Drizzlers, Maws, and even Big Shots if you hit them with all your arrows. It's a fairly unique playstyle for a long-range weapon like this, but I personally love it. It's simple, doesn't require any tricks or explanations, and it destroys anything you hit with it. Perfect. Now the one boss that might require you to think a little bit to use the weapon well are Stingers but it's also fairly simple. If you didn't know, jumping attacks with stringers will change the direction your shots spread from horizontal to vertical, very much like rollers. Knowing this, the trick to splat stingers is very much just jump attacking them so that your vertical shots will each hit a pot, potentially one or two shotting a complete stinger without any problem, making this weapon's only real nemesis, the flyfish. But that is it for a quick and easy guide for the Grisco Stringer on how I like and recommend using it to get good results with the weapon. If you have any additional tips or questions about it, make sure to ask in the comment section so we can help each other out. Hope this video helped you if you struggle with the weapon, and good luck with the current wildcard rotation everyone. Thank you for watching, and take care.